What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition. Welcome back to finally, your boy got some sick draft rewards, and right when we needed it, bros, I entered this draft on the poor man road of glory with only 200 coins remaining. I decided that I was going to bet it all on us. I thought, you know what? I'm putting all my eggs in my basket, and I'm going to believe in myself. I'm going to believe in my ability to play FIFA, and I'm going to lay it all on the line. Man, I didn't like any formation they gave me. I thought heavy between the three back and the four five one, and the four two three one. and that's when I decided, you know what? I'm going to go four two three one. It's a formation that I don't like, but I know how to play the four two three one with three cams. Let's try the left mid. Let's try the right mid. As we jump into this draft episode arena, yo, of the road for champions. Smash that big old thumbs up if you haven't been enjoying the series. Make sure to subscribe. And right now, I just feel like we're hitting the nail on the co coffin when it comes to everything, man. We're getting so lucky at the moment. And I don't want to say it's like lucky in a way where, oh my God, we're getting blown out the water with the best stuff ever. But, you know, getting that SPC, if you missed yesterday's episode, getting that Portuguese walkout, okay? Um, obviously, it could have been Cristiano Ronaldo. It was. I don't want to spoil the episode for anybody who hasn't seen it. Go check it out before I talk any more about it. Um, click off quickly if you haven't seen it yet. Go check it out and come back here. Um, but, yo, you know, I hit, I hit a cool Portuguese player from SPCs. We make good money. Um, I buy some players. I upgrade our team. I make our team look perfect. We love the way our team is looking. I have no. I have barely any money left over. I had like 6,000 coins. I started selling everything I had. started discarding things. Boom, make 15,000 coins and decide that I was going to risk it all on a draft and see if the luck was still on our side. So we are going to hit some absolutely incredible rewards. But before we do that, we can watch the draft together, talk about the game, talk about what I like, talk about what I don't like, because there is a lot I don't like with this FIFA. There's a lot that I do like, and there's a lot that I don't like. Gameplay better than FIFA 19. The flow of the game, fun. The flow of the game, cool. Um, but there's a couple things I dislike about FIFA. And this is my honest opinion about it. I don't like the passing. I don't like the player switching. And I don't like the auto blocks. But more importantly, I don't know if EA... This is the one thing I kind of can give EA credit for. But at the same time, I got to take a shot at them. Because they're the ones making it this way. Fortnite was one of the biggest, biggest video games on in the world. On Earth. And they put out a couple bad seasons. And then they went and made every lobby a ranked lobby which means you're ranked you're playing ranked you're playing against people on your skill level every single game um and this was an issue for epic if you look at the game right now people aren't playing fortnite like they once played it the game got too try hard the game got too everyone thought they were ninja and 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 nick mercs and all these good 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 players fifa went from divisions to rivals they brought out foot champions every mode is a competitive mode and people are playing as if their lives depend on it to get these rewards. And this is the problem with the game right now, is that when someone goes to test the game, let's say EA invites a bunch of people to go test the game, okay? When you go to test the game, for example, I've never been uh, invited to test the game before. That's never happened. I've never I've never played a game. I've only played this uh, a FIFA once ever when it was in beta and it was this FIFA. Um, but they didn't ask for my advice or feedback or anything. I've been to capture events, but capture events is just where you go to capture content for your audience. It's almost a free way for EA. It's almost a way for EA to get free advertisement, right? They don't pay the content creator. They take the content creator there. They allow them to get free content. And then we put content for our viewers, which is almost like free commercialing, right? In a way for them. For us, we're like, yo, we get to play the new FIFA. We make content on viewers. Let's go. But there's just making videos for, you know, to for them for free because they don't have to pay commercially that's pretty much what the capture event is and it's cool because it, it's cool for the content creator because they get exclusive content that nobody has and then they get free you know advertisement in a way if you look at it that way right that's what the capture event is when we go to the capture event which i went la i didn't go this year i went in fifa 17 or 18 or something like that when you go there for example let's say i go there and castro and nep and stuff are there right so me and Cash are like, yo, let's play FIFA against each other. We play against each other. But when you pull up to your homie's house and you go to play FIFA against your homie, right? You don't go and put drop back one depth, everybody on stay back while attacking. You don't do these things because you're just playing FIFA against your homies. And you want, especially when it's a new FIFA, you just want to see what the new FIFA brings and if it's enjoyable to play. So at a capture event, it's really hard to see if the game is actually good or not. So that's what I'm saying. When they bring people to go test the game, it's hard for people to know if the game is good or bad until rivals and weekend league gets here because there's a way that people play weekend league that you can't mimic this you can't you this is only 
you only see this in weekend league bro you only see this style of fifa in rivals gameplay in weekend league drop back one depth just just sweating it out like i've never seen before and this is because it's a ranked mode epic is going through a tough time with with ranked modes with their fortnite game they decided that the right move was to bring ranked games some people like it some people hate it and fifa's going through a phase where everything is competitive now if you're down in division four and down it's not as bad because it, people aren't really taking it that serious but once you start going up the ranks it starts to become an absolute sweat fest to the point where you're like yo i want to relegate myself because this is annoying so when you put rewards on something, it now makes it competitive. The difference is the draft is the one mode that doesn't feel like it's a competitive mode. Why? Because there's no rank system. So you watching this right now, you might go, you know, 15 and 15 in the weekend league. But when you hit start in the draft, you have an opportunity of matching someone that you're way better than or someone that's way better than you. But it's all luck. And when it comes to FIFA in Rivals, it doesn't work that way. When it comes to Weekend League, it doesn't really work that way. So realistically, you're, you're playing this game and every every day you go into a game, it's it's this sweat fest. And, and this is what's making the gameplay bad. It's not that EA is releasing bad games every single year. There is things that need to be fixed. It's that they don't realize that the more you make this game competitive, the more people are gonna find ways to make the game boring and the more people are going to find how broken things are in the game because when a game matters so much you're going to you're going to notice every mistake the goalkeeper does you're going to notice every rebound you're going to notice every time your player doesn't shoot the ball properly you're going to notice the finest de the smallest details because every game is so important it's a it's 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 a must win game every game so this is what's the problem with FIFA right now. So I really hope that, again, the game is fun. The game plays cool, whatever. It's, it's, a, it's better than 19, but they really got to find a way to kind of balance this game out. Because right now, it seems like playing the one depth, sweating it out, park the bus is the way forward. And, and, and to me, it's not really it, 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 FIFA loses the fun in it. But again, no one turns their FIFA on to lose so the reason i want to get that off my chest is a lot of people have asked me my opinion on this game i do think it's better than 19 um i do think that 19 had better things than this game for example a lot of people won't agree with me on this but the first time shots in 19 were better and i know you'll be like well that was nah nah skills because people you know took first time shots and could score from like 60 yards out yeah but at least you had a counter to drop back when someone plays drop back and just runs around with their center back and there's no way for you to actually get a goal and then when you finally get in there and you finally break down their defense there's an other militao that makes a an auto block when he was 80 yards away and then your ball bounces off of him and then it hits his desai and then it hits the post and it comes back to you and then it hits the goal and then it hits that and there's another auto block it kind of makes it kind of annoying that there is no way to break down drop back and park the bus you know without those long shots so th there's 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 things i love about this game and there's things i dislike about this game and there's a lot i disliked about 19 don't get it twisted um but there was things that I kind of wish were still in this game from 19, like the ability to break down, drop back, and park the bus uh, so easily. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, man, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about what I just talked about. Um, I want to get back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG edition and talk about why I went into this draft. But a lot of people ask my opinion. I do think the game is fun. I do think it's a good game. I think this game is a step in the right direction for EA Sports. But I do think EA Sports really needs to evaluate what they're doing with so much competitive stuff. Not all of us want to be pro players. Not all of us want to be super competitive every time you turn your game on. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I think that's an issue. Um, hopefully they fix passing. Hopefully they fix uh, player switching. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like auto blocks are out of this world crazy, man. But I decided 15,000 coins, I was going to lay it all on the line. And one thing I do really want to talk to you guys about is squad battles as of right now i have forty thousand points and i think i've played like four sets which means i still have six sets remaining which means we're on track for top 100 but i tweeted out if you don't follow me on twitter follow me a9 skills i ask you guys a lot of questions about players i ask you guys a lot of questions about the series and things you want me to do follow me on twitter if you have twitter at a9 skills um and we hit 700 000 followers thank you guys for that man 700 000 followers on twitter i appreciate you guys for that man um so as i was saying um i put a thing on that i was like yo do you guys want me to stop at elite one or get top 100 and that's a serious question i asked you guys youtube please let me know in the comments down below do you want me to stop at elite one or get top 100 my elite one rewards were better than my top 100 rewards i got dembele 
uh, the Barca guy from our top 100 rewards, I believe. And I haven't really got, I got nothing out of my top, I mean, out of my Elite One rewards. Top 100, we haven't gotten anything. But I can, we can push for top 100. We're doing good right now. We're on track for top 100. But if you guys want me to stop at Elite One, it's all, I, I'm down to stop. A lot of people want me to stop because they think it's more relatable for the series. I'm going to be honest. This series is hard for anyone to be relatable to um, because not everyone has the same amount of time to put into, no road to glory is relatable. For example, I packed Bernardo Silva yesterday in the SBC. You might have packed Messi, or you might have packed nobody. I can't relate to who you're packing out of SPCs. I can't relate. You can't relate to the draft rewards I'm about to get because I got lucky. I can't relate to your gold one, uh, 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 elite fi gold one foot champ finishes, and you pack Ronaldo out of it. You know what I'm saying? I can't. You can't relate to my silver one squad battle rewards that I packed uh, Mbappe out of because it's random, bro. There's no actual system to how rewards are delivered. It's just completely random. And a lot of y'all can't relate to how much time I invest into this account. I play this game for hours and hours a day, investing a lot of time into this account to give you guys cool content, man. From squad battle content to top 100 content and squad battles to, to, to weekend league gameplay to drafts. I try to give you guys all the content. And that's why I spend a lot of time on this series for you guys. So I am having a blast with it. And I think you guys are enjoying the series a lot. You guys seem to really be loving it, man. Um, I just want to know that, it, yeah, do you guys want me to go for top 100, see how, like, the cool stuff we can get on this series, or do you want me to pump the brakes a little bit and just get Elite 1 and chill out? Either way, I'm super down to do it either way. I think top 100 is cool because um, it allows everyone, this series is less about, I do want it to be relatable, and I want everything I do for you guys to be able to accomplish, and I do believe you guys can. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer for a lot of you guys because if you're in school or you have work or you have college, you know what I mean? If you have stuff going on, if you have family, to, the kids to look after, whatever it is, right? It's going to take you a little bit longer, but you can still get there because I'm already almost at like 200 games played. And a lot of you guys are probably not even close to that, right? Because I've invested so much time into the account. Um, so you guys will accomplish what I've accomplished. It just might take you a little bit longer because you have less time to play the game. Um, but I do think getting top 100 is pretty cool because it allows you guys to see what is accomplished through getting certain milestones in FIFA. And luckily, we were able to hit that top 100 squad battles already. We got super lucky. I don't know how I did it, but we did. And we possibly could do it again, which is awesome for you guys to be able to see what you can accomplish through playing. So it depends how you really look at the series, man. But um, yeah, I had no money. I wasted all my money on my team. I knew that wasting my 15,000 coins are now with fitness not really being an issue that... You know what? Let me just YOLO it, man. And let me just lob this 15000 into a draft and see if I can make some money. See if I can hit something and get lucky. My luck was good with SPCs. My luck has kind of been going the right ways with 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 things. So I was like, bro, let me let me just, uh, you know, let me just risk it all. And honestly, bro, I really enjoy draft gameplay. Because I told you, like I just talked about, right? Even though you're playing for rewards, it feels, draft feels so casual compared to rivals, compared to foot champs i feel like it feels so 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 casual i wish foot champs was their competitive mode i wish they could make rivals like division was where like if you're in division one one through four play each other and four through ten play each other whatever it is that way you have a chance of getting a huge player you have a chance of playing someone that's under your level above your level and it's more random it's not a just sweat fest every single game bro that's what i wish they would do with rivals then make weekend league the competitive mode and then make, you know, keep draft the way it is with it being super, like, it feels super casual. But, like, you'll get a game where you're like, oh, God, this guy's super good. And you'll get a game where, yeah, you know, I'm doing good here. You get a game, oh, God, this guy's super good. But it's back and forth. I think that's really, really fun. It's just like anything, man. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like when there's games that, you know, some you're going to have a hard game, some you're not going to have a hard game. I feel like that's when the game, gaming's the funnest because not every game should be stressful every time you go into a fifa game it shouldn't be stressful because it's a video game at the end of the day anyways we win this draft pretty comfortably three two four three five oh and a four two win we play really really decent that first game i thought we were gonna lose in the four two three one mega pack jumbo premium gold pack and a rare player pack three packs here for us to open up to try to make our fifteen thousand coins back and yes finally like i said we are gonna get hit you huge rewards in my opinion um, smash that big old thumbs up if you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments down below if you think what I'm saying is correct. Because I, I don't believe my opinions. These are all, everything I say in these videos, if I, if I say a player sucks or he's not good, if I say this is bad in FIFA, this is strictly my opinions. The things I say are strictly my opinions, bro. And, and my opinions most of the time are very, very dumb and don't even, yeah, don't even matter. Um, but it's just my opinions how I view something, man. So let me know how you guys feel about, you know, the game being a little bit too, com too competitive, which then makes every, every, 
I'm telling you, man, like when something's so competitive, you're going to notice every little detail, bro. You're going to notice every detail, everything that's wrong. And and it's very easy to notice the things that are bad in FIFA and, and, and not notice the good things because every game is so important and you notice the bad more than good. That's just the way life works. We hit this inform here and this is not even the good. Trust me. Oh, skills. Come on, man. This, you, you titled the video this and you got this. To, come on. No, no. This is the first pack. All right. The first pack we hit a inform and De Rossi. The second pack comes up, rare player pack, all right? And I don't believe we get anything in this one. I believe we get something in the mega pack, right? Do we get something here? I think we get boards again. We get boards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get boards again here. Portuguese boards, I believe. And we do, yeah, it's a Pepe. It's a center back Pepe, which actually sells for like 6K. So we got inform for 9K because he could discard for 9K or we could sell him for 11K. He sells for like 5 to 6K. So that's already our money back. And that's not even the good pack yet. Right? Like, pretty good, right? Not bad for, for rewards, right? And Jorginho's in there as well, who also sells. So we get a Pepe who sells. We get a Jorginho who sells. Acuna doesn't sell. Corona doesn't sell. Um, but we do get two guys, Pepe and Jorginho from, from Chelsea, that do sell. So we got that. That was pretty lucky. Um, and that's not even our good pack, right? So we get an inform that sells. We get Jorginho who sells. We get Pepe who sells. And one more sick card that we are going to hit this series guys i'm gonna be honest with you man i'm having so much fun with this series and i'm glad you guys are enjoying it so much when i started this series i told you guys that i wasn't going to upload it every day and i've pretty much uploaded it every single day a matter of fact let me pull my channel up real quick because i told you guys i would not upload this every day i've uploaded it. so since it started there was episode one then i skipped two then i skipped three then i skipped then four came and five came then i skipped then six came then i skipped seven came eight came then i skipped nine ten eleven twelve and now 13 all in a row yo english boards right back trent 30 20 or thirty thousand coins we're gonna make right here boys what a freaking draft inform for like 10k pepe for six Jorginho for two or three trent for like 20 or 30k we're gonna make 50 we go from having 200 coins to 50 000 coins by just entering a draft believe in yourself man believe in yourself because you can get things if you just believe in yourself i believed in myself with the draft and i went into it we got super 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 lucky hey guys if you guys enjoy this series you want another uh, 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 uh rtg tomorrow smash that big old thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys i appreciate y'all and 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 i hope you guys have an absolute fantastic day also rewards are later on tonight in the morning ish whatever um good luck with your weekend league rewards those are coming out your ride rewards good luck i wish you guys the best i hope every single one of you pack messi and ronaldo or an icon or something great and mbappe i'm big your boy double a nine skills i love your faces that's my opinion on fifa 20 um, very, very good game, but a lot needs to be done about the game because the game plays a little bit eh at times and rivals is a little bit too competitive. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all and I'll catch you back here same time, same place tomorrow. All right, we out. Booyah.